Hey guys, you here, right here, yeah, 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 you know, welcome to episode 18 of our GTA 5 Car Showcase mini series. Today, we're gonna take a closer look at the Lamborghini, also known as the game Pegasi Infernus. There's a similar model or version to this within the game, and the modernized version is the uh, Pegasi Vega, which we showcased on episode one. I uh, see, I wasn't going to showcase this as an episode because I thought that's awful, lot similar to the Vega. However, there's a lot of you guys that want to see this as a specialized episode, so I thought I'd bring you guys uh, as an episode for this car anyway because it's such a beautiful car that should not be missed at all this actually has to be one of my favorite cars to handle within the game along with cheetah so the, the cheetah and the uh, lamborghini or the infernus within this game as i'm driving this right now has to be my favorite cars within this game so far because this car is absolutely insane so i literally just bought this from the internet on the website sinandreasautos.com for four hundred and forty thousand dollars so it's double, nearly double the price as the Vega, the, the car that I showcased in episode one. So the Vega is both nice and suited for this game. But the thing about this car is that this is the sort of the old school classical cars that the car that we driven from the previous GTA, GTA 4. And this was actually one of the favorites for a lot of people out there when used to race against other cars on multiplayer as just it. The name itself was just Infernus. So, on this game, they renamed the Pegasi Infernus just to get a different type for the Vaker as well to add to its sort of series of different selections and different options available. So, I like the way in this game, there's this from variety of cars and not just one type, you know. So, that's a great improvement from Rockstar. A lot of time spending that. But it also makes sense to make this. I feel that this car is faster than the Vaker, although Vaker's more modernized. So, not sure about that logic but as always you know it's something that I suppose for this being a higher price kind of does make sense but I, I don't really know guys I'll leave it up to you or you to decide but I definitely feel that this car is definitely faster than the other version of uh, the Pegasi so as we know this Lamborghini it's quite straightforward we've driven this in the previous GTAs we've all loved this car and as I said this has to be my top two forever car within the game with the Cheetah I'm not too sure about the Splinter. The Splinter is the Cohen Seg. That's a bit too heavy for me for its shape and aero type car. Definitely has to be the Cheetah for handling and this top two favorite handling cars within the game because for sharp turns at high speeds, you need to, like a lot of people don't like braking. And I can say that to myself is because I want to constantly keep driving and driving and driving. But hey, sometimes you're forced to brake and you know, having to turn those crucial corners without crashing is the most important part of all of driving in any games. And you want to do that with cars that can do that high speed without having to slow down too much. And this has to be one of those cars, okay? Straight up, no lie of a word, right? I'm feeling them right now in my bowl sacks because this car is insane. And this is not even customized yet and it's going this far. So imagine when it's customized. So I'm going to go and customize this, by the way. Before we customize it, I just want to quickly show you. I don't, know, I don't think it's the best place to park the car. Let's just do it anyway. Look at the interior, right? So I bought this car from the website, blue color, right? The rims look banging, looks like freaking razor blades. Inside looks like maroon leather. That's just amazing. When I rev this up, right? Check this out. Just look at that rocket exhaust. That is just insane. Ridiculous. Also within this tunnel makes the sound even louder. So that's more sexy. All right, here we go drive this thing I see I see a nice little gauntlet right there might use that for an episode what do you guys think should we do that yeah we should probably do that there's a nice banshee we've already done the banshee I kind of ruined the car that's a that's a nice Mercedes other Mercedes two exact same colors we've got a lot of cars here that's a, what's that car I don't know what that car is looks like a Mazda that's the freaking SLR I believe that's that what the hell is that bloody hell some of the cars I've not even seen yet okay as we're driving let's just locate the GPS for our custom shop let's go to the one over here it's not actually you know what let's go over the one over here there we go so we're on the motorway right now i believe i just don't want any cars to turn on me because that's just so annoying on a motorway let's drive here and we should turn straight to our left and then the next left drift with this car it's all right i suppose i'm pretty sure you can drift with this car it's very lightweight at the same time, but easily controllable. Oh snap, a bit of air over there. Ooh, gotta be careful there. Don't wanna get hit by a freaking bus. Let's 
reverse our way into this. Never mind. Open this shit. Let's go. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? I would like some customizing, please. Armor, 25 grand. Wow. 7500 engine. All right. Exhaust. Do you know what? I don't want to decrease the number of freaking rockets I want, so I'm going to keep it like that. Lights. Neon lights. Plate. I'm not sure, actually. I'll keep it all white. Let's keep it that. Well, that's the same thing, actually. Respray. Nah, you know what? Respray it, right? But see, matte look absolute crap, right? So I'm going to do a metallic, right? But blue. So metallic blue. All right, let's keep the blue original there. And then what we're going to do... Is we're gonna put some perspiration over top just to make that reflection look much better. Galaxy blue, dark blue, Saxon blue. Hey, all right, all guys. So I kind of spent way too much time inside the customization shop, spending time on which color to choose for my car. So we found a solution and ended up putting garnet red on top as a perspiration over the blue base primary color, and we decided to put uh, on red rims with rough weld and slightly change the rims to suit the interior color. The maroon red but you can't really see a difference like that much of a difference between the colors of maroon and red for this car well i guess you can see it's slightly but you know who cares man you know like i was too worried about the comment section because because of the previous episodes people always bashing on me on the colors that i choose but honestly i'm here to showcase my driving with the cars that i use to see what the potential that it has for the car itself or performance wise so anyway let's rev this shit up and see how it is here we go, slow start. Listen to this. Sh wow. Look at that, look at that rocket exhaust. Hurts your eyes, doesn't it? It's so beautiful. All right, here we go. Start the engines up, guys. Start it up, start it up. Oh, by the way, there was a couple of spoilers for this car after I chose the paint job and the rim work. And those were kind of awful there's only a couple there and it kind of ruined the look for the car so i decided to not put on the spoilers for once because the previous uh, lamborghini that we or pegasi vehicle that we upgraded we decided to put a spoiler on that and i looked over the video again a lot of people did not like the spoiler and i personally actually had to agree with them as well because it kind of ruined the the original look to the design of the car so in that sense i decided to not put on the spoiler for this Okay, I don't want to go for two SU SVUs, sorry, SUVs because that is not the case right now. It's too risky for this beautiful car. I don't want to get a dent on this. Wow, definitely a driftable car indeed. Definitely you can drift with this. Let's, let's give it a go. Ow, that's, that's, too, that's too risky. That's too risky. That's too risky. Definitely not here. Let's give it a go over here. In between both taxis. No, there's four taxis coming in the way. Let's turn left. Okay, let's hit the straight roads now. Here we go, this color is banging. Look at that reflection of purple. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Go through this fat truck. Another fat truck. Here we go, into the tunnel. Here we go, listen to this. That wasn't that beautiful. That was just beautiful. Oh my goodness me. Now, it seems like it's kind of going really slow right now because we're on a highway and the other cars are sort of scaling up with the speed on the highway than usual. Now, if we were to drive this on the normal roads, it's insanely fast. How fast can we go? Oh, I'm slowing down. I really should not be turning right now. Test the top speeds for this. Okay, and now I want to test the swerving, handling for this. Let's go. Oh man, this is, this is just too beautiful. It's so simple. Ridiculous. Just wow. Just wow. Going in between cars is just not it's just nothing like any other cars I've gone in between. Okay, that sounds so wrong. Then again, we're basing this on <laughs> handling. Don't get it the wrong way, man. A lot of SUVs, look at that man. That's just disgusting. Really? Treyarch? I mean, <laughs> ah shit, this is so awesome man, oh shit, I cannot go for that, this this one's too big, okay, that was wrong, oh shit, I made a dent in the car, 
freaking hell, man. Alright, let me for Oh shit. I thought I can go through that, but the cars are slowing down for some reason. Alright, now time to go on the opposite side of the road. This is the real test. Only inches, as Franklin says. Only inches, guys. Clearly, he's not satisfied. Oh wow, this is wrong. Man. Oh my goodness, come on, I want this. I want to go in between cars, man. This is nothing, come on. Let's go. Give me something. Here we go, here we go. Here come the big trucks. SUVs coming in now, let's go. Bro, this freaking, the horns on the other cars, uh, the oncoming traffic sounds like it's freaking uh, like a bunch of sheep coming in, like a herd of sheep. Oh, wow. Ooh, too, close. too close indeed. Here we go. This is so freaking hard. Ooh, that was close to crashing. That was so close to crashing, guys. Alright, guys, I thought I'd transition to the streets now because the highway was just too easy. So I want to test myself between traffic and this situation just to compare the speed between the. Let me go for it. <gasps> oh, that was good. That felt good. I can't believe I just went through that. Okay, so I'm just gonna, for the ending of this video, I just wanna quickly test this car of how well it can drift at the drifting place that we all know and familiar with from the previous episodes of the cars that we've drifted so far. So I just wanna quickly get there safely. Without smashing this car to bits. Uh, just like that, I just freaking broke the window. I'm hitting a bloody traffic light. But who cares? Because I am determined that I can drift with this car properly. Out of all the cars I've drifted with so far. Do I have to keep clipping the freaking traffic lights? Alright, here we go. Damn, you fat truck. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. As long as no cars get in the way. We can do this. Come on. Oh, my goodness. I need more speed. Okay, that was horrible. What was that? Okay, I need more speed. Oh, that was sick. I don't care. That was so sick. Alright guys, I really enjoyed making this episode for you guys today with the Pegasi Inferno. This has to be one of my favourite cars I've driven so far in the game. Out of the uh, Cheetah and the Splinter and all those cars. This has to be by far the, one of the best cars in the game so far at this very moment. So definitely give it a go. Uh, if you're way too impatient to find it on the streets, uh, it does actually spawn on the streets but it's quite uncommon and quite rare. So you can know, obviously result in buying it from the website given from the phone on the internet from traveling transport section for $440,000 which is not that much however it's nearly double the price from the other model of Pegasi that we have the Vaker so we've got a Pegasi Vaker and Pegasi Furnace within the game really good cars however I'd say this is better than the Vaker definitely it's all down to preference down to you as well so anyway I'm gonna leave it as it is for now for this episode. Definitely leave a like rating and also a rating for this car. What you guys think? And I'm gonna end this off with a nice little stunt jump. And uh, I failed there, but who cares? Let's just go for it. Nice little spin, twist, turn, flat. Yeah, what a fail. Okay, anyway, see you guys soon. Shaggy here. Sign out. Good night. Peace. Yeah. Let me get some petrol for this shit. Where's the hole at? Where's the hole at? Where's the hole at? Where's the hole at? At the back? Nah, nah that shit is gay. <laughs>